The most part which took like uh, most of the time was this part. In a secret hiding place where she's fled facing death threats, Kubra Kademi shows me the somewhat unusual garment she had specially made to the surprise of a Kabul blacksmith. When I even myself cut some parts and give him to cut and then start hammering, I mean, putting some marks here that this should be a little like bolder and so this, this part should have like this sort of shape. Kubra had hoped to wear the armor for 10 minutes to protest against sexual harassment. In the event, she made only eight before being forced back into her car. Even kids were saying that, slap her, slap her, slap her. Uh, many people were uh, throw, throw something and yelling at me, look at that whore, what is she doing? Is she a foreigner? Who is she? Who the hell is she? Right after that, when I get in the car, so people, some people were like trying to stop the car and heating the car. A very huge number of people, they were jumping on the car. And I was expecting that. Why do you think men were so angry? Because, uh, of course, that is uh, something really unusual happening right in front of them, somewhere they don't expect at all. And what about is it, uh, what it is about is something that, uh, okay, this, uh, looking at the, this, um, this breast and the, the backside, everything is what they see, actually, a woman. So that is somehow... What do you mean? That, 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 that's all they <coughs> see of a woman? Yeah, that's all they see, I mean... One eight-minute street protest by a woman in a makeshift suit of armour may not change the world, but it's a reminder of the constant daily threats and real violence that women still face in Afghanistan 14 years after the fall of the Taliban. Supposedly, if I, like, um, if I were burqa also, that's the same way. Those women are also being harassed here. You're saying the burqa is no protection. Of for course, women. there's no protection they, at all. They face harassment. Yeah, of course they do. Your life yeah. has been turned upside down. I mean, totally, totally. Yeah, I wasn't expecting this at all. I didn't know this was going to happen. This, uh, this heat is going to be like even I mean, getting uh, increased more and day by day. I didn't know that at all. You can't go back. It seems, yeah. For this one brief performance, Kuba is now in fear of her life, while millions of other women still face daily harassment on the streets. David Lloyd, BBC News, Kabul.